choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Shortly after the partial success of AS-201, it was time to send up another rocket into space. NASA decided the next mission should be AS-203 instead of AS-202. This is because the command module that was due to be flown on AS-202 was being delayed. So NASA took a Saturn 1B rocket, removed the command and service module, and placed it on the launch pad, ready to go. The Saturn 1B launch vehicle for this launch was improved from the last one, but it would still run into many of the same problems. One of the major issues that returned on AS-203 was the solder joints failing. This resulted in over 8,000 joints having to be replaced before the flight. One of the two major differences between the AS-203 launch vehicle and the AS-201 is the modified S-4B stage. This new S-4B 500 stage was made for this mission and would be much more similar to the S-4B that would later be used on the Saturn V. Another major difference on this mission is the lack of the Apollo spacecraft. Instead, the top of the launch vehicle was topped with a 1,680 kilogram nose cone that wasn't just for aerodynamics. This nose cone would be used to store experiments and electronics. It would stay attached for the entirety of the flight. The primary objectives of the AS-203 flight were to evaluate the S-4B and the instrumental unit or IU in orbit, testing the effects of weightlessness on the cryogenic liquid nitrogen in the nose cone, testing the S-4B's ability to restart in space, then finally testing the new IU that was added to the rocket. There were also video cameras placed in the fuel tanks of the S-4B stage and in the nose cone to observe the fuel. Over the month of April 1966, the AS-203 Saturn 1B rocket was assembled on Launch Pad B of Launch Complex 37. Through the month of June, NASA would perform pre-flight tests that would all go smoothly. Then, on July 4th, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the countdown would start at 11 hours, 30 minutes, with a planned launch date of 9 a.m. the following day. At T-15 minutes, the countdown was paused because of a problem with two of the three TV cameras inside the liquid fuel tanks. After an hour of trying to fix the problem, the cameras still would not work, and NASA decided to resume the countdown and launch with only one camera working. AS-203 would lift off at 10.53 a.m. on July 5th, 1966. Shortly after AS-203 lifted off the launch platform, it would reach supersonic speeds in just 51 seconds. This is 12 seconds faster than the launch before due to the lack of a spacecraft. The first stage separated from the rest of the rocket 143 seconds after liftoff and would fall back to Earth taking video cameras inside with it. The S-4B stage would continue into orbit and would work perfectly. This would reach an orbit of 105.4 to 109.3 meters and then would prepare for its testing. While in orbit, the only working TV camera remaining captured the reactions of liquid hydrogen while performing many different tests. They would test many different types of venting inside the fuel tanks so that the fuel would settle. In the next orbit, AS-203 executed a simulated restart of the J-2 engine. This would also go very smoothly, and shortly after, all the primary and secondary objectives would be completed. At the start of the fourth orbit of Earth, the final test was started. AS-203 closed all of the vents in the liquid hydrogen tank while opening all of the vents in the LOX tank. After a bit, the liquid hydrogen began to boil. At the beginning of the fifth orbit, the tracking station lost telemetry communication on AS-203. Then two minutes later, when the tracking station was supposed to pick AS-203 up again by a tracking station in Trinidad, it only picked up debris. AS-203 had exploded at the same air pressure that the S-4B stage had failed at during ground testing. The debris of AS-203 would fall into the Caribbean Sea, which would conclude the second flight of the Saturn 1B. This flight was a crucial stepping stone that NASA took on their way to landing on the moon. After its success, the engineers at NASA would set their sights on AS-202 and getting it ready for its quickly approaching launch date at just a month away.